I think for employers things have, have got difficult. Uh, lots of employers are finding that they're having to do more with less, that they're trying to maintain or increase productivity while at the same time cutting back on staffing. So that's, that's one issue. I think the second issue is uh, talent management. How do you get really good people? How do you develop them? And more importantly now, how do you hold on to them? How do you keep your, your key asset, which is your, your talented employees? Because clearly for many organizations, what's in the heads of the employee is what the key asset is. So it makes a lot of sense under those circumstances that if we're trying to ramp up productivity, we must do it in such a way that we're not not at the same time causing a deterioration in the health of and well-being of the workforce. And that's not just their psychological health, some of these pressures also translate into physical problems. The challenge for employers, I think, is that while they accept the value of this kind of intervention, they know that it improves productivity, it increases motivation, it increases morale, uh, it helps them to deal with their duty of care under the legislation. The real challenge is they finding the resources to make those kinds of interventions. And it's a reflection, I think, of the downturn in the economy in the last while that only 4% of employers surveyed had introduced a new health initiative in the past year.